Good evening. This is the Policy Review Committee. This is December 12, 2012, our last meeting for this year. Merry Christmas. And Happy New Year. <laughs> See you next year. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Should we adjourn? <laughs> no, we can't adjourn. <laughs> If you're not careful, you'll be elected chairman for next year. <laughs> that will fix you. Now, before we go through, get further into this, let me tell you a couple of other things. I had gone down to the, see the Board of Selectmen and Jennifer in the last couple of weeks. We originally had a policy, an old policy, called uh, Purchasing Guidelines. Yes. Mm -hmm. And after talking purchasing with... Purchasing Guidelines? Purchasing. Oh, yeah. purchasing Yes, to acquire appropriate um, and after talking with um, Michelle and Jennifer that one right Ooh. they told me that nobody uses Suck this up. so on further discussion with Ted and he had talked to all his department heads they all have a certain budget at least on paper and if it's in their budget they can spend it so they don't use this policy it's become obsolete so they, they're just going to rescind it. So in the next, in the next week or two, next Board of Selectmen's meeting, they will vote to rescind this policy. There will not be a replacement. Are there any, is there anything in, in those policies that? Um, it's just this one policy <clears throat> on purchasing. On purchasing. Uh, is, uh, I'm just wondering if there's anything in there that we felt very strongly about that we feel it shouldn't be it was so long ago I don't even remember doing I know this. we Me never so we never got it. into it okay. she handed them out one night but we okay. never we, oh, were, we never we, reviewed we were going to look at it okay. okay and then so the first thing I did at that point was talk to Jennifer and Michelle to see what they do and you know what items what paragraphs and they really needed to be changed you know, because sometimes there's a world of difference between what somebody is doing and what the job description or the procedure says they're supposed right, to be doing, right. as in this case. But the, what triggered the big difference, which makes this obsolete, is that the Board of Selectmen, I guess in past years, and I don't know how far back, did not give their department heads budgets to work within. So they kept track of everything through the... Um, purchasing invoices so now being in the what are we 20th century 21st one of those um, the whole method of buying mm -hmm. has changed yeah. so nobody is using this policy everything that's in it I am told is obsolete just ancient history and, and they do they don't want to um, have a new one with the uh, up-to-date changes like no because Budgeting, budgeting is a whole computer. process okay. on its own. And is there, Gets approved is there a at the annual town is there meeting. A policy for that, for, bud for the budgeting, I wonder? No. The warrant and finance comes up with a lot of the uh, appropriations that are going to go into the makeup of a budget because they have to get approved mm -hmm. at the annual town meeting. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how the yeah. entire budget is put together. But a lot of times what we vote on is just a mass right. of under general something, like right. 588000 under And the figure is different general. every year. Yeah. And all the sub-accounts within so the budget does, are different every year. So then who allocates the amounts to different The Board of Selectmen. The Board of Selectmen. And the, and the warrant, do they do with the warrant finance? I don't know. Yeah, I didn't get into what the happen. whole budget process is. Mm -hmm. um, but suffice okay, so to say, this is... So we're not going to do this? No. Policy? Yeah. Okay, so it's absolute. It's yeah. Well, I'm glad I didn't look for it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> no, I can put it in my trash bag. This is my trash bag. Is that trash? I know. I'm going to throw everything away and start fresh. In the first what do you mean? Year. That's all your trash bag? What else you got there? Just several hundred drafts of this. <laughs> oh, but we might need them. I, I started scouring for mine this afternoon. Oh, yeah. I'm so confused. And okay. the, other, the, yeah. the other stuff more on this? that I thought you were All right. The other, the other item is that the, um, the drug and alcohol policy that we had done a couple of years ago 
first one. We get to the school did. committee now? Hmm. No. Oh. No, they didn't ever they, use it. They Remember had they their own. I know. They that's had their, their own. own. I was After hoping we would get six that. weeks. Yeah. Anyway, the um, what they wanted want to do, and I told Jennifer because of time constraints to go and do it on her own. Uh, they wanted to add one additional sentence or two, saying that anybody that has a CDL license that is going to work for the town, plowing, sanding, has to have used that license in the last year, I believe, a year and a half. They don't want to have people working for them have a CDL license that's four years old that they haven't gotten behind the wheel of a truck. Is that right. something they have to renew every year? Or they have to have a physical every year. Why would that be under a drug and just alcohol? Just a physical. Yeah, I don't know how often. Not an actual um, Because there is a section in the drug and alcohol policy. For CDLs, yeah. Um, about CDLs. Right. Hmm. So anyway, they were going to add a sentence or two to that. So I said, well, you know, you seem to know exactly what you want to say. Right. Go ahead and put it in there because they, never, they, they wanted, they needed to do this in time to get it out in the next week or so. It had to be finished and out to everybody that it applied to before December is over for this coming winter. Well, they definitely should do it by themselves. Yeah. Yeah. So I said, you know, we don't always get things done in one meeting. Yeah. But not only that, but they never accepted <laughs> our, our policy. Well, we, they never they never used our policy. They, they used the one that was done by the That's right, third because party. they found the other one. Yeah. They had it updated. Right. That so, was a long story. Wouldn't that be in, um, a hiring guideline instead of a drug policy? I know, drug policy doesn't sound like it's in the Doesn't sound like the right place, but Yeah, I, I don't I don't disagree with you. Whatever they want. We're here to we're here to please. That's right. At this point, I think as long as they put it somewhere, somewhere before look, it's December is over, <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, that's <coughs> where, that's where it is. And the other policy that we had previously worked on was this request for public information. That's yeah. what I handed you. That's, yes. Yeah. What has happened is they've recently had. Well, since we revised it, they've had um, several extensive requests that have taken really? a fair amount of time, more than a fair amount of time. Wow. And they're finding that the way that we calculate the bill for the time seems to be coming up short, that the town isn't getting back enough payment for the time invested. So they wanted us to look at that. So they want this done as soon as we can get to it. And the so, calculator. Right. So the, the question is, do you want to try to wrap this up tonight? With the computer? The computer use policy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then go to this? Um, or do you want to do it the other way around? Doesn't matter to me. Doesn't matter to me either. I mean, my, my, my thinking is that we, we, we wouldn't necessarily either. wrap up this policy tonight, but at least it would get the wheels turning. Right. So if we want to, uh, if we want to just wait and spend sort of half hour towards the end of the evening, and even if we haven't finished this, we'll spend a half hour on this tonight. Sure. When's that next meeting going to be? Uh, we need to set a date. Would it be in January? Yes. So we haven't, uh, we haven't set a calendar for 2013 yet. Okay. I, I just wonder if we should take the time to um, to review because I just very briefly reviewed this, the law on it and it, and just quickly outlined in yellow uh, highlighted some stuff on employees' computer use. No, on the um, access to information. Access to information. Yep. And it and it addresses the state law addresses how much what they can charge for, what they can't charge for, and minimums and maximums. So it I talked about $15 an hour that they could. That's only one way. The town has chosen yeah, a different way. Yeah, but then way. later it says something different about um, if there's extensive work. Yeah, you can charge more than over $15 yeah, an hour. They can charge you know, per hour and um, the copying fees. And right, and we get so that. Forth. Oh, here it is. I got it out of this frequently asked questions section. So I just wonder if we would want to 
of review that all of that stuff and have a, a better handle on that policy. Okay. Well, well then why don't I feel why don't I you know, however you guys feel if you want to do that tonight I, I have no problem with that I just wonder if it would be better served if we had some time to re look over the policy again. Yep. Why yeah. don't we take like In the last half hour? I'll give you the okay. uh, calculations that I did. Um, oh, you already did. And the some. other stuff. Okay. Well, I tried it a couple of different ways. Okay. And then um, we can save this for the next time. Okay. Is the issue just the the monetary amounts, or is it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. We should be able to knock that off in ten minutes. Then. Well, we can do it. Why don't we go ahead and do it then? <clears throat> I don't have a problem with it. I just thought. Uh, no, no, I, I, we would I'm have happy to, to do what you suggest, then. Well, if you have the stuff all figured out, why don't we go ahead well, and Well, I don't exactly, it. I haven't come to any determination. I've tried the numbers a couple of different ways. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, well, why don't you run it by us? Maybe we can do that and then finish up the other one. Up to you. Shouldn't that be hourly really rate times 1.33? Yeah, we get to that. I think all that's right. what the problem is. Mm. No. All right, all right, we'll set Excel spreadsheets. <laughs> yeah, you know, I meant to say to you, what did you want the Excel spreadsheet for? You said to me in the email, can I bring it? And I thought, well, sure. Well, What's she going to do with it? Calculator. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, instead of the instead right. of a calculator. All right, and here's the primitive little tool. <laughs> I have my programmer's calculator. Okay. I, I can do the figures in hex for you. No, thanks. In X? X. 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 Mm. All right. Mm. As in, all right, you have the policy. This is I do. a recent letter that went out that had the breakdown that corresponds to the policy saying how it's calculated. So, and then I'll tell you what's on the, what you're looking at there. Now, I had it open earlier. I can't find it now. What is it? Spreadsheet. Okay. Well, for the moment, let me just take you okay. through this yeah. so you understand um, my gibberish. And this was a recent request. Total copies, see that, almost 800. So it's, and according with the policy, it's broken down into the time spent if on the letter. Am I supposed to have this? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's my. Okay. I just didn't want to accuse me. My accelerated math. Um, so on the letter, it details the time spent by each person according to their title, because according to their title, it spent a different number of hours, they have different pay. And then um, below it gives you the hourly rate for each one of these same people. The difference is that you have to consider salary people versus hourly people. Right. And then they come up with the grand total. The, um, the state suggested that one way of doing this was to charge everybody $15 an hour for research after the first hour, which is what I squiggled in this little box here. So. It was 10 and 3 quarter hours. If you did the $15 an hour, it would be $15 an hour times 9 and 3 quarter hours, which instead of 183 would have, would have come up to 146 and change. So the 10.75 times what? Well, you take off the first hour because the state is saying after the first hour, oh, okay. you could then charge. $15 an hour. So $15 an hour times 9.75 hours instead of being $183, it would be $146. So that's worse. Yeah. Um, now, what I s detailed out on the second page, I was playing around with the bottom half of the letter. For instance, it talks where it says treasurer, mm -hmm. $18.83 <clears throat> per hour. It's based on 52 weeks a year, 40 hours a week. 
and also the office manager is the same ratio, 40 hours a week. Now, what I did was, at least this is my thinking, in the corporate world, you know, people used to say, okay, you make your salary, you make $60,000 a year. That's based on, for compensatory purposes, benefit purposes, that's based on a 40-hour work week. Mm -hmm. Well, in some cases, it might be 35. It varies. But what I looked at was the number of hours, and I got this from Jennifer. She gave me a list of the hours that these different people are expected to work in a week. And I compared that, and it compares pretty favorably with the hours that the town hall and these people are here to service the town. So then the thought was, well, instead of basing this calculation on a 40-hour work week, because it's clearly Absolutely. Absolutely. they don't. So what, yeah. as I, I think of the 40 hours as being a, just a calculating factor. Yep. But if we're gonna charge for the hours that somebody actually is missing from their desk to service the public at large because of this, it's called project, right. then why don't we base the calculation on what their normal work week is? Absolutely. With the, with the treasurer, um, it would be 21 hours a week with, now when you're talking about Jennifer, it gets. Can I? Yep. Should we, I'm sure it's all public knowledge how much, you know, in the budget and the finance and warrant committee, but should this kind of discussion actually be, no offense, out? for everybody to hear when you're going to start talking about how much people make and everything? Um, it is all public information. Mm -hmm. um, they, it's available, a lot of it, in the um, annual report. Mm -hmm. But to that point, I can, rather than just read every last number, we can just reference them because we're the only ones that are seeing this right now. Okay. To be sensitive to that. Um, so when you look at somebody such as the office manager, depending on what the inquiry is, she can be wearing multiple hats here. The deputy treasurer, office manager, town clerk, tax collector, deputy treasurer. Right. So then you say, well, all right, so does that mean every time she has to figure out which hat she's wearing for that moment? And in probably a fair number of cases, she's probably wearing multiple hats. Mm -hmm. Sure. Working on the same request. So my thought was to just let's get rid of the hourly ones where she's where the deputy treasurer and the office manager, not the office manager, Secretary. the ones that are hourly rated. Yep. If you look at if you combine those positions into the one person, which is what we have. But that's not all one person. The treasurer is one person, and the deputy treasurer is another. No, no, I'm sorry. The one person is the deputy treasurer. She's also the office manager. She's the town clerk, the tax collector, and the registrar of voters. So she wears five hats at any different time. And the town clerk. Yeah, did I forget her? I forget that. Anyway, so there's about five different possibilities. Is there a breakdown of what she gets paid for? The there is. That there is. Yeah. She, um, that she spends. I have it here. For a week on each job. No, because every week no, is okay. It's different. This is expected number of work hours. Now this expectation is just for budgeting purposes. What they did was the Board of Selectmen and or the Treasurer, or all of them together, look at all the different hats and say that this one person wears. And 
they determine what the salary is going to be. That gets approved at the annual town meeting. And then they go through it and they say, okay, in a normal work week, this is how many hours we expect that you might work in these different functions. Mm -hmm. It's done for budgeting purposes. But I mean, initially when you start, you say, okay, I'm going to hire somebody and not only will she do one job and the salary is X for that, but then there's other, these other little ancillary jobs that make up. So when you start to budget where that money goes to, you say, okay, we want, you know, in an, if you think about what goes on here during the course of a week, you know, you spend X amount of time being the office manager, you spend X amount of time being the deputy treasurer. When the treasurer is not here, you're filling in for that, doing these other things. So the long and the short of it was, at least for me the long and short of it was, what I did was on, um, I said, okay, instead of using 40 hours for the office manager, she, that position actually, if you look at the number of hours a week that the town hall is open, instead of dividing that by 40, I say divide it by 28, mm -hmm. and the treasurer by 21. And let me, let me just show you what that gets you. Oh, sure. my, little, my little etchings here. In the, at the top, I listed the salary per year of the office manager. That's according to what time they would use, how many, how much year they're saying, based on 10 to 15 hours a week. It comes out to 7.58. Yeah, 7.58. Wage, is it? <laughs> no. Really? So then, under the second sec, I added up all the different positions: office manager, town clerk deputy treasurer and came up with an annual salary right here mm -hmm. body divided that out and instead of hmm <laughs> anyway, it would change that hourly rate to the 178.60 as compared with $55.20. Um, what's the 44.65 times 4? Are you trying to recreate? 44.65 is... 48,882 divided by yeah. 52. Yeah, I get the 44.65. And then instead of dividing it by 40, I divided it by 28 hours. Right. Times time and a half. Right. I'm just wondering why you're multiplying it by 4 here. Times 4 hours. Yeah, Aren't 4 you hours. you create this? Yep. Okay. Yep, I am. Um, Deputy Treasurer, 3 hours. Office Manager, 1. Okay, but that's, that's one. But that's okay. one person. Yep. Um, <clears throat> secretary would be another person. So we have three players here. We get the treasurer, the secretary, and this other person that's holding down two. Is this are the uh, rates that you're using the actual hourly rates of their salary? Yes, only? this is what um, she showed me on the computer. Okay. So it, it doesn't include benefits or anything like that? Insurances? You know, because you do include that stuff in um, the budget for someone's wages. So you always got that from your boss when you were giving you a review well, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not just giving you money, I'm you know. giving you benefits, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I um, wonder if it, the law allows you to charge that, that it's just not on my mind. I, well, I don't know how much more that would be. 
Jurassic Park would be great. Actually, I don't know what I'd like to do is get there. to a point where we simplify this whole scheme. Why do we necessarily have to to say it's tied to time and Yeah, half, why, why don't we just say it's $15 an hour or something? You know? Well, the, the $15 an hour that the town suggested, uh, that the state suggests, just doesn't work for us. No. It Given won't. the amount of time um, that went into doing this. And the yeah. other thing is that the, um, of course, the first thing I said, well, copying fees. I said, um, that's only 25 cents per copy. And apparently there's been um, resistance to changing that because a lot of people will come up with a, a couple of things that they need copies of and people don't think that they ought to charge them more. But um, I didn't think of it at the time, but thinking about it today, I don't know why it would be unfair to say, okay, if you want um, a maximum of one to nine copies, it's 25 cents. If you want 10 or more, it's, let's say, 35 cents. Because the, as has been pointed out to me, the cost of, main, of buying the equipment, maintaining the equipment, buying the ink, the paper, has gone up significantly, mm -hmm. as have all office costs in the last couple of years. So the 25 cents isn't keeping up. Now, as much as you might want to be considerate of somebody that can't afford to pay more than 25 cents a copy, you may also think twice about passing on that cost to everybody else in the town, because that's what you're doing. Right. So if you have, now this is just my view of this, if mm -hmm. you have a special project that somebody has asked, they want all this information, and look at the number of pages we're talking about here. Yeah, that's um, right. Don't you think that even just for the material, the copying, it should be more than a quarter? hundred dollars just for copies of whatever it is he wants. That's not even including the time that he has to pay for somebody to do it. Exactly. Yeah. Better be important. Twenty five cents per page. I mean you can go down to Springdale <laughs> Hardware yeah. and it's um I think it's fifteen cents a page. But that's their situation. It's a separate business, you know, separate volume, volume most, determines. Most of, the, most of the copy places, though, are like a dollar a, a, a page. For color copies. When you go right. to Zippy, But I mean, their, places. their cost as a vendor, compared to another vendor, being the town hall or any other vendor, is different. And that w would be a lot of what determines what price you're going to charge per copy, mm -hmm. is what you're you the vendor what your overhead is so I have a hard time saying okay they're 25 cents we should be 25 cents they're 10 cents we should drop you know there's a difference between somebody coming in and wanting 800 pages and you going down the Springville hardware and making a copy of your license to apply for something yeah. yes yeah. yeah so the um, It says here the Freedom of Access Act does not set standard copying rates. It permits agencies to charge a reasonable fee to cover the costs of copying. Right. So they're not limited by the law as to what they can. Yeah. I didn't think anyone could get. Can, I didn't think you could get twenty five cents a copy anywhere anymore. Where I work, they charge like a dollar, two dollars after so many pages. Mm -hmm. Right, because if you want to, if you look up something at the York County Probate Court and you want a copy of a deed or any of the documents down there, it's, what is it, a buck a page? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it would, should make a difference whether it's black and white or, co or, co or colored. Too. Mm -hmm. And even if you download and print it off your computer, you still have to provide your credit card and they hit you for a dollar. 
so maybe with copy the copy stuff we could just do it could be like from one to 50 pages or one to 25 pages is 25 cents from 50 pages to yeah whatever 150 a and just set up a quantity and change the rate accordingly so this is not the state statute but it was the frequently asked questions section relative to the access of uh, information act and it said says that uh, agencies or officials are authorized to charge $15 per hour after the first hour of staff time per request. So I think that's, unless you actually saw the statute going, that might be what you were. No, this is, this is uh, I think, the same thing that you have. It's the questions me, a government body asks me why I want a certain record and so forth. Yeah. So I think these are the questions right. that people have with most of the time. And on page five, it, um, it talks about the charges. So, <clears throat> I mean, when we can. When was that written? This year? Yep. When was the law it, passed or whatever? Mm. You know, I don't have the actual statute. Did you did you pull up the statute? Does it say up in the like in the first paragraph when that? I had a lot of that stuff, and then when we finished this yeah. policy, I yeah. me too. Trashed it. But then Jennifer printed this off for me. She charged me. November 27. <laughs> <laughs> no. I get the family discount. Friends and family discount. You're asking for the statute? The date. When it was. Oh, the date? Uh, it actually says $15 an hour in there. Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> so I was wondering how long ago it was. But this is not absolute. It says you can, right? Yes. You can charge up to $15. Does it say up to? It says authorizes agencies or officials to charge $15 per hour. But that's one method. Mm. Where conversion recommended agency may also charge a fee to cover the actual cost of conversion. Is that $15 an hour above what the actual cost is? Um, These are, at least as I interpret them, big guidelines. Mm. Mm. And I think depending on the size of a municipality, they probably purposely don't want to get into telling everybody how they're going to run their shop and how they're going to charge for it because what you can do in a little town and what you can do in a a city, a large city, mm -hmm. is significantly different. Sure. Hmm. I wonder if we're evaluating this. Well, I'd have to look at the actual statute wording. Yeah. I might write that down. <clears throat> It says the act authorizes agencies or officials to charge ten dollars per hour after the first hour of staff time per request. Oh, it's gone up. Then this is newer. This one says fifteen. Your translation of the record is necessary. The agency or official may also charge a fee to cover the actual cost of translation. So hers is ten dollars above. Where's her say twenty five? Yeah. yeah, this was back in January of two thousand twelve. So maybe oh, yeah, wow. it's changed since then. Authorizes agencies or officials to charge fifteen dollars per hour after the first hour of staff time per request. Since so the agency or official must prepare an estimate of the time and cost required to complete the request, and if the estimate is greater than twenty dollars. Yeah, see this, this one says thirty, so it has been revised. The agency so. or official must notify the requester before proceeding. The agency may request payment of the cost in advance if the estimated cost exceeds $100 or if the requester has, has previously failed to pay a fee properly assessed. Right. We don't do that. Oz says if um, when you hand the request in, if the town clerk takes a look at it and says, oh, this is going to be significant, you need to give her a $50 deposit. Right. So what they did in this case is... Um, 
I don't know if they had a verbal conversation with the requester, but they got their fifty dollars, and now they prepared a bill wow. saying it's ready. You must have died, huh? Come in and pay this. Mm. Now, if he doesn't come in and pay for this, that's one big total waste. Yeah. I don't know what they would do in that situation. They've got his credit card number. Who is that? Um, they might only have a fifty dollar check. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. So I say you can't just go charging stuff on people's charge cards. If he came in and asked for something and you did all this work, well, that's why I'd be says, mailing it to him and charging his credit card. That's why it says you they have the to jail. give them an estimate if it's going to be over $100. So you do up the estimate mm -hmm. to the best of your ability of what it's going to cost. You give the estimate to them and don't do the work until he signs that he understands that it could be up to that amount of money. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, perhaps the town needs to rethink that. And maybe that fifty percent. Maybe fifty yeah. percent of it should be paid on. Uh, fifty percent of the estimate. Yeah. For and anything then, as large as this. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's what I would think. Um, My sense is the way that it works right now is that it's up to. Um, the judgment of the town clerk when she figures out about how much she's dealing with here. Well, if you want, and then sometimes you just don't know until you start. You still you start going through and researching and digging out from all the different possible places where you might find right. what's Stuff. being requested. It's probably very hard to judge is, yeah, the time. Ten or fifteen dollars an hour is a ridiculous amount hmm. in this day. Yeah. To take people well, away from their jobs to be, you know, doing. I'll you see if I can find the records to them, right? To do the research themselves. You can't have them go and do all the records, so you have to. That's a ridiculous amount. Yeah, I mean, there are some cases where you can say to somebody, "Here's the file. Go through and see what you need, and yeah. then we'll make copies." And right. You know, so because I've I've done that. But this is With pretty extensive. My homeowners association. Pages? 800 pages of yeah. stuff they had to pull out. Um, well, and you're only, talking, um, you're only talking 10 hours? Did you say, Elaine, that you already copied off or printed off the statute itself? No, I did not. These were, I, I have just. Um, Okay. Just to speak with me, asked questions, and this was all right, back so in this, January, <coughs> and you say this right. changed this is, already. Yeah, apparently, yes. because this was printed November 27th. This is, uh, then I'll, um, make those decisions publicly available. Use my password and go into main municipal, actually, probably anybody can do it, but go into the statute and see if there is any specified amounts in there. This makes me think that they may not be. No, I, I know, because they're, they're just saying $10 an hour after the first hour. That's I know, but do you, I interpret that to be a guideline. Do you, or do you think that that's sense. absolute? Agency officials may also charge fees for the time spent searching for, retrieving, compiling, and radiating confidential information from the request of Act authorizes agencies or officials to charge ten dollars per hour after the first hour or staff time per request. I mean, translation, be $10 above. but it doesn't. It doesn't clearly say what kind of work they're doing. Is it just that they're copying? They're standing in a copy machine. You can charge ten dollars an hour. Where translation of a record is necessary, the agency or official may also charge a fee to cover the actual cost of translation. So if someone wanted a translation of... Well, we've said in this town, we are not reformatting, we are not interpreting, we're not doing any of that stuff. Okay. So there won't be any... You just get the record, you just get a copy of the record as In whatever is. form it comes. Yeah. On, the pol on our policy for the town, it says the town will not provide advice, interpretation, or reformatting of the requested public record. Mm -hmm. You get the public record in whatever condition, shape, size, it's in. Okay. Okay. 
and then so um, other than that, it appears that then we're charging for research time, copying. Because the, I think what this sample invoice here doesn't, where, where we come up short, where it doesn't reflect what's really going on is, for all the time that was spent here, it takes people away from providing their normal day-to-day -day services to the rest of the town. Yeah. yeah. So do they have to do that then on overtime? Or do they somewhere on the line? Um, they, they don't do really do overtime. No, they don't. No. But they they reference sure they stay away some from section that. here um, for that ten dollar. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at it upside down. Can you really tell? What's this twenty dollars? Well, she has yeah. the same thing, only different figures. And it's right. more, It's more recent. I yes. Think, unless this was January. No. So just to add some complexity to all this, mm -hmm. if you took the office manager's salary and I used 12 hours a week because I thought you said somewhere between 10 and 15 was what she usually works as the okay. office manager. Well, for... Which one is that right on the back of? No, no, Elaine probably has it. Office manager. Now, I'm just saying, this was for <clears throat> budgeting purposes. Yeah. They said that, excuse me, the board expected that the office manager position would probably do 10 to 15 hours a week. So I, I used 12 for a number when I was doing this. Okay. So I divided by 52 and divided that by 12, came up with 1330, multiplied by 1.33, and came up with that. Now, if we, instead of the 40 hours, put in numbers of hours worked per week in that position or something. In each of the positions? Because that, that's a significantly larger number than. Sure. Than what they the, have. Uh, Five dollars and 31 cents. Right. And it more accurately reflects what her pay is, too. Right. Yeah. You know. Where did, but they, get, where did they get these things? That's what they're actually paid. Yeah. If you take, see on the right, let's take the treasurer. It says the treasurer on an annual basis makes 29 to 5. Mm -hmm. yeah. That breaks down to... 1883 if you base it on, on 40 hours, 40 hours which she doesn't don't. do. She does 21. That's right, yeah. That's the hours that this building is open, Yeah. which she's here working. Those are the only Isn't hours that are on days when the building is not open? Probably. And Jennifer is all As the time. Yeah. Right. And what is she when she's here doing that? She's salaried, so whether she puts in the bare minimum of 21, but that's going to, if she's here <clears throat> working, that's going to adjust what she makes per hour. If she comes in as the town manager to work on something. Well, she won't be acting as the office manager because the office isn't open. No, I said town manager. You mean town clerk? Town clerk. That's a salary position, but yeah, I understand what you're saying. You know, she's not working 20 hours a week. She's working 35 hours a week because those other two days when the building's not open that she's in here, she's doing town clerk work. She may not be waiting on anyone, but she's still doing town clerk work. You can't charge her by hour for only when the building is open. I think you can. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> oh, you can't. That's not a fair value of what she makes as a wage. If you put down, she only works the 20 hours when the building is open. I guess the way I was viewing it was, the town hall is open X number of hours. She works Y number of hours. So to the extent that we're taking her away from serving <coughs> the public at large, we should charge on a project for that piece. But what if she can do those on a day when no one comes in? Well, but yeah, but those she's she she's salary. This is a special project. She's salary. Right. She's Why salary, should somebody so she's salary? Working. Yeah, but she very she, supposedly no one works overtime, right? Isn't that what we were told? Right. They really the, only the hourly people would be eligible for it. Yeah. 
Yeah. And they really try to stay away from it. It's not in the budget. And so the town hall is open, you said, 28 hours a week? Yeah, I, would, I took, <clears throat> I counted up the hours that it, it's open. Hmm. What about lunch breaks? I would think that no that, lunch breaks. I would think that you would say that this, the money that the salary that smoke? they make is based on a 28-hour week because those are the hours that the town hall is open. But that's not what she works. You don't know that. Maybe you she think does. she sits in here on Mondays well, when the building's not open and doesn't do anything? Sir, stand to that. Part of the policy. She, does she come in on Mondays when the town she hall is open? She is working in this building when the town hall is not open. There are a lot of Mondays when she's here. I'm doing stuff just, just to. Yeah. <clears throat> but I don't know that it's fair to. Um, but you have to count that because she's supposed to be doing work for the people. She may not be taking someone's money when they come in, but she's processing that payment. Say everybody comes in on Tuesday, mm -hmm. on Wednesday <clears throat> when it's not open, or you know in the afternoon, she's processing all the payments. She's still doing work for the town. She's still waiting on those people. It's just that nobody can come in and bother her. But she is still working. Well, how do you compare that to the treasurer? They're, they're both salaried, both for calculation purposes, we're using the 40 hours. I would be fairly sure of myself in saying that one of these people puts in a lot more hours a week than the other salary person, yet we're using the same figure of 40 for both. Well, what if we change the number 40 to some words like um, Ask her number, how number of hours but it, it's going to be different every week. Position. Right. You, you don't want to count town hall weeks or voting weeks because she's here, you know, 78 hours in two days, for crying out loud. But well, if they come in on you can't special just, things like that, maybe perhaps they get they don't come in on the next day when they were supposed to be working. I don't know. I mean, oh, they're very contract. flexible. Yeah. They're very flexible. But you can't not count the hours that she's here and the town hall's not open. You're saying you cannot count the hours. You have to count those hours as her working. When she's not here and she's not working. When she is here, but the town hall's <laughs> not open. What, if he, what has she been doing <laughs> before she came here? No, no, I'm with you. That's what I heard, too. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Did she not Steve, that? interpret. I know that. Uh, uh, Steve, help us. I, I don't like sleeping on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> You can't just say she works 28 hours a week. <coughs> she doesn't work 28 hours a week. She does other things on the days when the town hall is not open. Well, now, she's working 28 hours a week as the town clerk and tax collector. She's okay. working 10 to 15 hours a week as the office manager. So that's 38 right there, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that these numbers in, are included in what you're talking about. So add up all the salary and divide that by 37 that, and a half. That's what she did here on line two. Or, line two of what? Where it says OMTCL. In the your left hand. Def ah, okay. I took right. the, she took, the total she annual all these salary. Okay. And divided by 52, and then divided that by 28, and then divided and multiplied by 1.3. Fine. Divided by 52. Twenty-eight hours instead of 40. But see, that's where I disagree. But okay, with the on thing. hers, on this one. This one might have to go by 40. Yeah. Yeah. But the, the treasurer should be either 21 or 28, whichever the town is open, or whatever she works. Well, on the, the post of town house hours for the treasurer, it would be 21. Okay. She's got seven hours on Monday, four on Wednesday, three on Thursday. 14. And seven on but 21. Does she ever come in when the building's not open to the public? I don't know. I, don't, I, don't know. I would have to ask. I, I have no idea. No. So if we use that number divided by 40 instead of 28, what do we get? Nine, 
40. Well, we divided it by 40, then we come out to what we have here. 0, 3, 8. No, I'm talking about this, the one that you this came number. Up with. Oh, okay. And we divide that by 40 times 1.33. Comes up with 31.25. And what did they charge on this bill? Nowhere near any of that. Yeah. It'd be the combination of the deputy treasurer and the office manager. Okay, yep. So that'd be $23. So that's still an $8, $8 increase. So you changed the 40 hours to what? I changed this 28 yeah. to 40. Okay. And came up with 31.25. Times 1.33. No, it is already multiplied yeah, by 1.33. Yeah. It's 31 to 1. Yep. Yeah, but your 40 hours was, it was a combination of the office manager and the deputy treasurer, was it not? Yeah, it was, it was this number divided by 52 divided by 40 times 1.33. How does I'm not getting it. How does that compare with the deputy treasurer's hourly rate is sixteen dollars and change an hour? The office manager is five dollars and change per hour. But that's because one is hourly and one is salaried. Right. Goodness, isn't there some other town we can just copy and do what they do? <laughs> Our friend she, over in Shapley. And she she wants something simple something easy like a prompt no rate. that's me a, well you said you <laughs> that's said me saying they want, that. they want something that's you know easily figured out well, like I thought probably they, a I thought flat they want rate for, for losing money flat yes. rate for anything yeah. that's being yeah. done yeah. Make I mean a flat 35 dollars an hour let's take a vote and get it over with spent one and a half an hour well are we sure that that's a legal thing to do though not according to what how you mean that's not a law we need to That's look at the statute. Asked question. I, I think doing a, and a flat thirty-five or something asked is question quite based right. on the law. Reasonable. Reasonable. But we don't have a copy of the law. We just need to no, figure out if it's legal. Yeah. And I think we should charge thirty-five cents a copy. Up to the first. Well, what? Right, right across the board. Right across the board. I and mean, if you're getting one copy, you can't afford the extra dime. There's something. Yeah, but somebody that wants 800 copies, he should have to pay more. He shouldn't be able to. <laughs> mm. He should get a reduced rate. <laughs> <laughs> By <in> bulk. <laughs> if you bring your own paper. But we're not getting a reduced rate for the copy paper oh, yeah. that was used, the ink, the cartridges. So. Yeah. We'll just find out how much we have to pay per copy and double it. Who's going to figure that out? The maintenance, the cost We'd of the machine. We'd have to go through the meeting. costs for the paper, for the course of the, the toner. It, the machines tell you how many copies have been made for um, a period of time. I'm sure it's, we could find out um, here in the town hall what's budgeted versus actual expenses on the copy. So this half hour, kind of. <laughs> right behind right, Was somebody <laughs> keeping time? You said about well, taking a half hour. Um, I should never say that no. when you have four people. You should know that. <laughs> do you want to look into the law or do you want me to? Do I want what? Do you want to look into this law to see what we can charge or do you want me to? I'm happy to have you do it. You can okay. give better eyesight certainly than I do at the moment. His glasses are old, that doesn't mean they're good. <laughs> a year old. Almost a year old. Well, it took me five weeks to get these. Now, if I go back and they have to change them, go back to my other glasses and I could see better out of those. Oh, great. I think they do it just to make your eyes get worse. So you have to come back and pay more money. Oh, no. Retesting is... The no. No, no but I mean, it'll gradually over a period of a year or two make your eyes worse. What if you, what if, what if you took the, pe the people who are normally involved, let's say, um, in providing information like that, you know, 
the, 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 the treasurer. Oh, I thought you meant yeah. her glasses. <laughs> <laughs> no. My glasses is not on the agenda. <laughs> what, what if we, we, you know, could determine that on average, the people who are involved in providing the service are A, B, C, and D. And you figure out what their combined average hourly rate would be. I don't think we have an A, B, and C in a D that work in Just the a and office. B, right? We only have A and B. You well, don't have a lot of options. Well, you the have um, does Brenda work. downstairs in uh, planning. You have. And I wonder. Kenny Paul's. Yeah, He's I wonder if Kenny Paul would be involved in stuff like this. But if you took, if you, if you knew that there was X amount of hours put into it, I think he could be. And that. These were the people that were involved in gathering the information. And you took the average of those four people, you added their rates, divided by the four, now you have an, an overall rate that you could charge those people. Did you say clerk equals X dollars per yeah. hour? Is that yeah. what you want to do? Yeah. But then you're then maintaining that every year when the clerk gets a raise or, you know, that's why I'm trying to stay away from something like that. Where you have to go where a formula has to be changed? No, if you said the clerk gets eight dollars an hour next year when she when she gets a pay raise, now you're gonna have to go and change the policy to say the clerk the clerk's time is eight dollars and twelve cents. Yeah. yeah. Which but is why I think we should try to either stick with a, a flat rate? Uh, no, a formula if we can. But if we can do a flat rate of thirty five bucks that might stand for a couple of years before you have to We'll mess with it again. Is, um, mm -hmm. Do you want us all to kind of do a search on to see if we can find out what um, how other towns are handling? Well, Steve's going to look up the law. The law. Okay. Sure. I mean, if you know anybody in any other <coughs> town, and I would say um, towns comparable. You know, we don't want to. I don't want to call my cousin in Portland and find out what they do in Portland <laughs> because it's just not relevant to what, yeah. what goes on. In. Yeah. So the first thing is to find out that. exactly what the law stipulates in terms of if, if they say you cannot go over a certain amount. Or if they don't even say a certain amount. Yeah. 200 bucks an hour though. <laughs> That's our money manager. Freedom of information there. <laughs> you know, nothing is ever easy. Uh, you know. Nothing is free. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so I'll check out the law. You guys, you can find some other people. I don't know. Um, you gonna sit around and look pretty? Yeah. I doubt it. Okay. It hasn't worked the last 68 years. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm you can watch those birds away. that fly over your back porch there. Eagle. The eagle. I haven't seen the eagle lately. Peter saw it one morning when he was having his coffee. But we have an owl that lives in our yard. I haven't seen him lately. It's snowing. All right, so. To be continued on this one, huh? So, mm -hmm. action. It's we haven't the picked a date yet, though. And action. True. We will. Did you bring a calendar? I did. Oh. You have put on your worldwide computer there. Pardon? It's down the bottom right, where your clock is. And if it's not there, it's right here in my handy dandy. There you go. Handy dandy. It's not November anymore. January. January twenty-first is a holiday. We don't come here on Mondays anyway. No, I know. Just so I know. <laughs> so I don't suppose you want to come New Year's Day. July 4th is a holiday. I'm not coming New Year's Day. There's too many football games on to watch. <laughs> oh. Think Notre Dame's going to carry it? I haven't seen enough of Stanford, but maybe. They seem to be on a roll. Oh, I have one, uh, one thing. I When I was looking for this policy, this old, this. Uh, Public information policy. Mm -hmm. I pulled this one out of the state first and I noticed the mistake on it. It needs, this should be meetings policy. 
when we gave it to them, we had meetings. And it, 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 it was done up, so it just needs a correction. It's Jennifer's job. She does the titles. No. You want to tell her? Okay. Do that. Because um, it reads fine when you need it. Well, how about January 8th? I have my hair done that day. You are? Yeah. But you already had it done. I can tell it's shorter than well, usual. Yeah. January 8th. You're in. Is that okay? Next. Yes. February 12th. Might as well get it up to you. Going. Are we only going to meet once or do you want to do twice? What's your plans? Virginia? Well, I'm not going south this winter, I would seem. Um, yeah. Will you look so. right to you, Buck? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to be the one to say that. Yeah, you know, a little bridge to the It would seem. It didn't sound no, like no, a I really, I really don't mind. <laughs> no, I, in my mind, I'm thinking, do we want to stay with once a month or go back to every other week? Every three weeks, <laughs> we just all make sure we show up at the right I, I, day and the right time. I think it's too difficult to work for one month when you know you have one month to do to work on something. You just fluff it off, and then that day you're like, <laughs> I, I, "How about every three weeks?" Twice a year. No, that's not. <laughs> Do you think their minds are fresh enough? It's up to you guys. You know? I mean, you all, you guys all work. You know what I did Except her. <laughs> I don't work? Is that what no, she's telling me? No, you're retired. You guys right? work. And... Yeah, but I'm working. I mean, I'm not I watching the soap operas. Why not? Because there aren't too many on anymore. I never watched those when I was home. You just have the You can take a Monday time. holiday off, you know, the month and catch up. All you have to watch was two, three times a year. Yeah. You know everything was going on. Yeah. <coughs> Let's shoot right. for every other week. All right. <clears throat> All right, the eighth. That'll bring us to January twenty second. February 5th? I, we need to stop. No, you're writing them you down. Do I saw you. Well, what I'll, you won't. You better write it down because you're going to check your calendar at home. Right. And say, I'll send you a yeah. copy of the email that, oh. that I sent to the board. <laughs> no cheating. Uh, how, how many calendars have you got in this house? We each have our own. And there's no joint one? Not at the moment, not for 2013 yet. I either have to see my Avon lady, my eye doctor, the dentist, or have Santa bring one for me. Santa, 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 so I guess February 19th, February right? February what? February 19th? 19th. Is that Why don't a holiday? We... <laughs> no. Ooh, is she you? mocking you? You don't get holidays on this job. <laughs> In Elaine, there's no overtime either. <laughs> oh, dear. We should make her come in on Thanksgiving. <laughs> no, we're out one week in March. Do you remember which week that is? So, so what are we going to do well, about this computer why don't we, policy next wait, week? Why don't we leave it at January and February right now? Because if um, we really get on a roll here and uh, get these two done, um, we want to make sure that we have. Do you want to start a little earlier? Things, can enough start, things to do. Can right. we start a little earlier? No, okay. she's busy working. She can't she's get here early on Tuesday. Are you working? Zumba instructor. Nobody pays me. If that's what is, is that was about working. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's see. Um, Get me in trouble. What, we've been, we've what? been shooting for yeah. seven, right? You want to start like six thirty, quarter of seven? Six thirty. And you're the one oh, yeah. who has to travel and get home from work and everything. Is no, that right? that I'll never remember. It. Really? Do you want to do that? You want to change? Six thirty. Yeah. Are you available at six thirty? We have a little bit more time at night. Mm. 
Don't forget to mark the. Uh, then I can get home in time to see NCIS. I'm going to show one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. You don't record them? It's being recorded for my benefit, yes. So, so for January and February, we're saying 6.30? Yes. yes. PM, just for the official record. Yes. 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 Glad she said something. I was going to be here in the morning. Yes. yes. You're up at that hour. 18.30 for you military you. types. All right. And then in uh, February, we'll see how much... So we're going to leave the computer policy for the next week, right? Yeah, because our half an hour was really long. Yeah. But, you know, that maybe that's a good thing, because what we can do is, since we just got it from tonight, you can take a look at it and compare it to what we had yeah. on 1029 and the changes we made then. Well, some say 1113 on them. And then, if we think that this is going to be, the, like, hopefully the last time that we'll review it yeah. again, um, maybe on our own when we're at home before we have the next meeting, we should check, you know, there was the list of things that they thought should be included. Maybe we should well, just check asked, and make sure we have those things included. Yeah, when I asked, um, I talked to Ted this past week, offhand, he couldn't think of any others, but he was going to give it some thought. Mm -hmm. Included in what? <coughs> there was Other a, policies there was, that they might oh, want yeah. worked on. Okay. Okay. But no. I'm sure the mere mention and Jennifer will be taking out her to-do list and yeah. right No, no, I meant on this. I meant on the computer policy. There was a, some documents that we got um, from the state of Wisconsin, and then there was a, some other stuff that right. we got. Now, I took all them. those out because nope. I thought we weren't going to say specifically what to include. I know, but there was okay. a listing that they recommended that um, were critical to be included in a policy. And I'll see if I can find it. Yeah, I have both of those documents. Yeah, and maybe just a review to make sure that with all the editing we did, that we didn't forget something else that was really critical yeah, to be included. Yeah, and please go through the sections that you wrote and mm -hmm. see if the most current one that Debbie has is that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not like mine turned out to be. Okay. And I'll resend it to you because I've got the one that you could open. And I don't know why it worked the second time. Um, it was a totally different file name on the first one. You I, said. Yeah, it had a pound it had sign like a at the, yeah. and it it had said the end something of the that You needed something or other that I never heard of to download it. But I resent it to her a second time and it worked. Yes, yeah. and because I got the second you time got to, too, okay. we did a Word document. I don't well, the think other, it, the other one was supposed to be a Word document, but it yeah, didn't come it was, that way. I emailed this, you know. Well, whatever gibberish was that Yeah, file. I must have hit some kind of I didn't get it. key, but it worked the second time. So yes, everybody's got one. So feel free to just make any changes you want right on the thing. Okay. Mm. In your section. In red, can I do it in red? Sure. Oh, don't go slap happy with red lining again. <laughs> Because you don't know, don't know how to turn it off. <laughs> I knew that would get to the <laughs> I had a lawyer send us documents, and he blue lined everything. And I thought, oh. where the hell did he get that? He lay sorrow. <laughs> I gave him strict instructions. Lawyers can use blue. Law clerks use red. The secretaries. Anyway. So we do not. I believe we're done for the evening. Yes. Thank you. Good night, all. Happy holidays. <laughs>